going on, guys? As always, this is Investor Channel. This is your host, Prince Dykes, coming to you live with another great, awesome, and magnificent video. But as always, as you guys always know, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, comment button, share it, all the other good stuff. If it's a good video, give me a thumbs up. If it sucks, give me a thumbs down. But if you give me a thumbs down, at least let me know why, I'm in, right? But I don't have a lot of time. I definitely want you guys don't have a lot of time, so we're going to jump straight into it. As always, you know, you guys know I'm going to come and give you guys some great advice. But if you guys probably seen, I've been around on Wall Street. I've been in all type of firms, and all type of people, all type of good stuff. You guys gotten tons of videos throughout the years, and I'm going to share here what I want you guys to know. Now, your stock broker. The first thing you got to think about your broker. How does a stock broker pay? Most stock brokers are paid. They probably hold a Series Six or a Series Seven, and they're paid via transactions, right? How many transactions a person make? I met some stockbrokers that said, man, I hated my job. I said, why? Because my job was to just get up and sell. Sell a penny stock because I got more commission, so I would sell it. I don't care if they made money. I don't care if they lost money. My job was to sell it. Tell you why? Because I got a good commission if I sold a penny stock. So, for example, if I'm a fund manager, I build up a nice little fund, a mutual fund or whatnot. I give it to a stockbroker and say, hey, if you sell these, I give you a little kickback, right? So most stockbrokers, they probably don't even care. It's like, hey, my job is to broker the deal. They're not held to the fiduciary standard. What is the fiduciary standard? A fiduciary standard, it gives most people that hold a Series 65, most life insurance people are, are held to the fiduciary standard. But the fiduciary standard is that when you have to inform your client, you have to know your client, you have to let your client know, hey, what I'm selling you, I have an invested interest. Hey, what I'm giving you, these are the ups, these are the downs. That few, the, the big thing for what they fiduciary is that they have to act within the best interest of their client. Not within the best interest of their pockets, but within the best interest of their client. The stockbroker doesn't. That's the big thing. So you guys probably heard of the 2008 market crash. We heard all these firms that disappeared, all the good stuff like that. President Obama wanted to um, he wanted to put the fiduciary standard on all of Wall Street. He got a lot of kickback. You say why? Why don't everybody want to? Um, why wouldn't everybody want to act within the best interest of the client, right? I'm going to break it down to you. Why? So, for example, we're going to sit here. We're going to go along. We're going to act like this is 2007. We're trucking along. Everything going boom. And boom. 2008 happens, right? 2008 happens. The market started to rebound around about 2013. So, if I sell you a mutual fund, how do I make my money as a stockbroker? You heard of one, two, B, tech, one, bravo. Those are the fees that you're charged. You don't know what your fees are? Check out some of my other videos to find out what your fees are. You know, hey, um, a broker has to eat too, right? So your broker, he makes money off of, hey, I sold this mutual fund. My job is to keep him in his mutual fund. Tell him to buy more. Now, as the market takes a downturn and starts to go down, now, you would say, hey, when you're like, hey, should I sell it? Should I sell it? No. What I'm going to tell you to do, buy more, buy more, buy more, buy more, right? So, because, what would I tell you, you know, if I told you, hey, take your money out and you sold all your mutual funds, how much money would I make? None, right? But if I told you, hey, you need to buy more while it's low, buy more into this mutual fund, you'd be cool. You'd be great, right? Because I had an invested interest of keeping you inside of this fund. That it would be your broker's mentality. Now, on a fiduciary, a fiduciary is fee-based. The difference is it doesn't matter where the client's money is. If the, if the client's money is in cash, he gets paid. If the client's money is in the mutual fund, it gets paid. doesn't matter where the client's money is. They get paid off of what they manage. So they have an invested interest of, hey, if I manage $10,000 or if I manage $20,000, the higher, the more money I manage, the better. So I have an invested interest in your money growing because I make money. Versus your broker will make money when he buys, when he sells, when he buys, when he sells, right? So for example, a fiduciary could say, hey, you know what, Mr. Johnson, you need to sell. The market is going to crack. Let's sell. Let's put your money over here in cash, right? So your fiduciary calls you out, tells you to put your money in cash. And your fiduciary puts, leaves your money in cash until the market starts to pick back up. So all of these years that you could have lost and trying to go down and wait for it to go back up, your money could have been placed in the cash where it could have gotten, gotten away from the market. Or it could have been put into a money market account. Or it could have been put into a savings account or a CD or something like that because the market was a little bit too risky. But when the market comes back up, we're going to slide you right back in. 
a mutual fund person, they can't do this. They can't try to time the market and sell and buy, sell and buy, because there's something called churning. When you're turning someone's account, right? Let's say if I'm a stockbroker, I want you to make as many transactions as possible. Let's say from E-Trade, I want you to make as tra many transactions as possible because every time you buy and sell, I make $9.99, right? So if, I, if I'm if i managing your account and I make money when you buy and sell, wouldn't I have an invested interest of buying and selling your account? So the SEC has a law against that called the anti-turning law, right? So you can't just be buying and selling out of an account. This is why brokers can't do this. Now, this is why a fiduciary can, because they don't make money when you buy and sell. They make money off of what? What they manage. So it doesn't matter if that money is in cash. It doesn't matter if that money is wherever. They get a percentage, an annual percentage, usually with about 1% to 2%, 3% of what they manage. So they don't care where your money is at. They have an, and they have to act within the best interest of the client, because if they don't, they go to jail. This is why in 2008, nobody went to jail, because they were not held to the fiduciary standard. They didn't have to act within the best interest of the client at the time. So a fiduciary can tell you, hey, take your money out, put your money in cash until the market comes back up. Whereas someone who's in a mutual fund, they can't try to time the market, tell you to go in and out because of what? Anti-churning, you can't churn someone's account. So they're gonna tell you to keep your money in here and to keep continually buy more so I can collect those what? Man, you guys are smart, you guys are catching on. One twelve. 112 Bravo Tech 1. These are the fees that are collected by your fund managers because if everybody takes off and sells their mutual funds, guess what? I don't get any more fees. So I want you to stay there, right? This is something that a lot of your fund managers and your brokers do not want you to know. So because you can see the invested interest. But don't take my word for it. Do your research. I'm here to bring you what is the truth and what I have learned. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and comment button. And to the next video, you guys already know what to do. Peace, be safe, and I'm out. Yeah.